Hi ladies, it's Susan and I hope you're all having a great Friday and looking forward to the weekend. Um, hope you're all getting some fun crafty time in. Um, I started working on this tag I think two days ago and um, finished it up and um, wanted to share it all with you. I'm really excited to have um, my Prima Mixed Media Doll Stamps. I got a call from my local scrapbook store last week stating that they were in and so I got three um, of them that they offered and it was really, really fun. So I've seen all of you make such gorgeous tags with them and I was really excited. So I use the um, Prima Tag as you can see and they are, they're perfect for these stamps and I love how big they are. It was really fun to paper piece. And the paper pad that I used is from Michaels and it's the My Mind's Eye Bramble Rose. And I know most of you have seen this and have it and it is gorgeous and if you don't, You've got to go look at it in person. It's beautiful paper, and um, I'm hoping to go get me another 6x6 pad because I think I'm going to use it on quite a few projects. So what I did was take a piece of that paper, and I wrapped it around the tag. Um, love the springy colors of that. Um, took another uh, piece and cut out those butterflies with my Martha Stewart punch. Um, I also paper pieced her dress with another uh paper in the pad and I love the blacks and grays with all the color in the background and um, paper pieced her headband um, her I Copic colored her hair and skin and the skin turned out great um, but her hair I, I do pretty good on the gorgeous girls lately I've been kind of getting a little bit better although I have a super long way to go but I had some trouble with the bigger area with the hair. So I'm going to print out some more or stamp out some more and practice that. But what I did up at the top was use some American Craft Yellow Ribbon. And I took one of the um, Art of Cake head pins that I had gotten on clearance and put a little gesso on it. And um, put the flower there. And I took the, um, the stem and wrapped it around a pencil and then just kind of intertwined it up into the ribbon there. And I thought that looked kind of cute and for something different. Um, I used some of the Tim Holtz uh, rosette trim there at the top, along with one of the Michaels metal corner pieces. And then down below, I used some Melissa Francis pearls there on the bottom right, along with some black Hobby Lobby crochet ribbon along the bottom. I stickled her shoes and her headband. And I used some of the $1.50 Michaels pearls. I used the smallest pearls on the page for each side of her headband just to give it a little extra something. And then on the flowers, what I used was um, in the center there, that beautiful kind of a pinky color one is from these Michaels ones in the glass jars. And they I don't think they even have these anymore. I'm not sure. But I had gotten these on clearance quite a while ago. And they're beautiful. I have them in many colors. And um, I have them on my shelf, but for some reason, sometimes I overlook them when I'm looking for flowers. So I thought it looked really pretty there, and it matched the color of the paper perfectly. And the rest of the flowers there are all recollection as well. I used gesso on those flowers also, and it's the first time I've used gesso, and I love it. I had a lot of fun, and I really love the effect. Um, and then underneath the flowers, I used these um, pearl strands, and I have three loops, one here, one kind of poking out there, and then one down here. And that's about it. The back is um, really super plain. I just didn't do a lot to it. And I attached this glassine bag here, and what I'm going to do is print out on the computer um, with a nice font, um, my message, and then Handmade with Love by Susan. I need to order me a stamp on eBay for that. And then what else I wanted to share with you guys real quick is um, I got some happy mail. I actually got happy mail like two days apart this last week, and it was totally, both of them were totally unexpected and super, super sweet. So um, what I had gotten, the first one, look at the stamp, you guys. This is from Laura. Hi, Laura, from the Robin Laura. She is such a doll, so sweet. It says, Happy Mail, excitement is waiting inside. And I'd love to know where you got that stamp, Laura. It's so cool. And she is such a sweetheart. I had mentioned a couple of times that I was looking for the gorgeous girl um, Miss Attitude stamp. And um, so... 
can't find it anywhere. I don't think they're making it, and no one has any more that I know of. So I know people are on the lookout for me, and you guys are so, so sweet. So she sent me some images. She stamped out a stack of images. And isn't she just the cutest? She just, my granddaughter is just, I just reminds me of her. So <laughs> she's so adorable. So um, thank you so much, Laura. I can't wait to color them up and use them on projects. And look at this amazingly gorgeous card. I love the shabby chic. Her cards are just amazing. So I saw her haul on these little fluffy hearts with the little pink bow. Look at the beautiful doilies and seam binding. And then it says sending smiles across the miles. And then she put in this gorgeous lace. I didn't take it out of the package. Is that beautiful? It's kind of a beigey, peachy, and then it's got pink going through it. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Laura. Thank you so much for thinking of me. It was so much fun to get that in the mail unexpected. And then a couple days later, my friend Mel, who's Melly Moo, which you all know, I got a box in the mail from her and I opened it and I have a bunch of gorgeous girl Miss Little Miss Attitude images as well so thank you so much Mel and she actually sent me some other ones like that I don't have that one so cute so thank you so much for thinking of me it just means the world to me when people do something like that I just you guys just made me feel so great for thinking of me. So thank you. And look at these rosettes that Mel made. Are they gorgeous? I can't wait to use them. And look how professional. I mean, look at the packaging and she used her punches. Thank you, Mel. I can't wait to use these on my engraver with my engraver paper. And look at this gorgeous. Now this stuff was inside this bag. She altered this bag and isn't it just beautiful? And her handmade lace flower with the gorgeous centers. Look at these beautiful flowers. Gorgeous. Thank you so much. And then we've got these here. We got, well, let me do one at a time. These are flowers and butterflies. And I don't think she made these, but she's got some, um, some great packaging as well. So I can't wait to use those. I love the colors. And look at these butterflies. Are these just beautiful? Oh, I love them. I can't wait to use them. Thank you. And then she knows I love bling. So look at this whole page of bling. It's got four different sizes, and I can't wait to use these on projects. So thank you so much, ladies. Thank you so much. And I'd like to just take a second. Oh, sorry, my dogs are barking. Um, to say welcome to all my new subscribers. I've been getting quite a few lately, and it's wonderful, and I'm so glad to have you along. If there's anything that you're wanting to see special, please let me know. I've had a couple of requests to do some tutorials on some techniques, and my husband is in the process of making it possible for me to do that by having me being able to put my camera above my desk so we can have a bird's eye view while I'm working. So I'm working on that. If there's anything else, please let me know. I'm really looking forward to doing that. So I hope you guys are all having an awesome day. Um, hope you're all having um, a great scrappy weekend and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.